Hundreds of black holes discovered by scientists. How's it going team? I'm Jared and I'm really excited because we're talking about black holes in this video. And I didn't care much about space, but since doing my research on this, I've become pretty intrigued in this whole seeing the unseeable thing. If you don't know, black holes are literally the end to anything and and everything. The University of Surrey did their research and discovered a group of globular clustered stars which may be home to hundreds of black holes. Originally this was thought to be impossible because previous research determined that black holes actually can't coexist. A black hole has such a strong gravitational pull that it sucks in and destroys anything within its path. Meaning if two black holes were close enough to each other, one would ultimately destroy the other. Well, thanks to new reports, that original theory has been debunked. It seems hundreds of black holes are actually able to coexist, which is what the latest reports have discovered. This changes the game in regards to how black holes are formed, meaning scientists have no idea as to how it happens. But maybe we should give them a break. I mean, I'm sure they'll have a new theory soon, especially considering how this report was released just a few days ago. Miklus Putin, a lead author at the University of Syria, explained how they conducted their research using computer software. He was quoted saying, due to their nature, of Black holes are impossible to see with a telescope because no photons can escape. In order to find them, we look for their gravitational effect on their surroundings. Using observations and simulations, we are able to spot the distinctive clues to their whereabouts and therefore effectively see the unseeable. It's pretty cool, huh? So as mentioned before by Miklus, the team used an advanced computer simulation to actually make their discovery. By mapping a globular cluster known as NGC 6101, the team at Surrey concluded that not only is it possible that hundreds of black holes can coexist, but that these black holes are actually larger than the sun itself. So take that in for a second. No pun intended. But um. With all that being said, the team at Surrey are hoping that by making such a discovery, they can help the future of science pinpoint how exactly black holes are conceived. Mark Giles, a co-author at the University of Surrey said, our work is intended to help answer fundamental questions related to dynamics of stars and black holes and the recently observed gravitational waves. These are emitted when two black holes merge and if our interpretation is right, the cores of some globular clusters may be where black hole mergers take place. Now you may be wondering how legit this computer simulation is. Well, the team recreated every single individual star and black hole in this cluster and monitored its behavior. Over its 13 billion year lifetime, the simulation showed how NGC 6101 has gotten to where it's at today. From that, they determined the number of black holes on the visible stars, and they concluded by realizing NGC is actually one of the younger clusters. Giles concluded by saying, this research is exciting as we were able to theoretically observe the spectacle of an entire population of black holes using computer simulations. The results show that globular clusters like NGC 6101 which were always considered boring are in fact the most interesting ones, possibly harboring hundreds of black holes. This will help us to find more black holes and other globular clusters in the universe. For all your space news, my name is Jared. If you don't understand anything I just covered in this video, in short, you guys have nothing to worry about, but there may be a new theory in regards to how black holes are actually formed. Until the next discovery, stay beautiful friends.